Oh boy, it's Friday. The vacation I've been waiting for many years. Heading to Shasta Lake, California. Uh, we're all set up. Oh, I got a story for you. I'm not gonna tell it to you now though. It'll take too long. Let's take a look what we got. Got uh, my son's girlfriend's father's truck. A couple of jet skis so we can have some good old times. My truck's loaded up. This thing is full. Got the boat going. And we got the kayaks. I mean, we're not missing much here. Oh, I gotta grab the, the uh, wakeboards. Can you imagine going to a lake with a lake wake boat without any wakeboards? Holy shit. Anyhow, that, and then we'll have uh, uh, Kenny's car falling behind us over there with uh, three people in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this thing gonna do this thing again? We don't wanna freaking focus. Anyhow. All right, we're gonna hit the road. <clears throat> get back there, get in the back. Oh, hey, it's uh, Saturday now. Yeah, Saturday. Uh, we are uh, about an hour and a half away from Shasta right now. We drove like with traffic and all that stuff. It was like six hours last night. Um, we're in Wairika. Not Eureka, Wairika. So I'm not saying that incorrectly. It's Wairika. There's a place in California called Wairika. Um, I don't know. It has a lot to be desired. This little town. It's uh, we got here. We reserved a hotel room for us, uh, for my mom, for Brandy's mom, for uh, my middle and youngest son, and then my oldest son reserved his own room. Uh, we got here. So that's four rooms for us. My son got his own. Oldest son got his own. The uh, uh, we get here at uh, around 10 o'clock last night and there was only two rooms. We went through uh, booking.com. Big mistake. Uh, there's nothing they could do for us. They only had two rooms. So, you know, we had to have rooms that could, uh, a hotel that could, you know, accept dogs. So, my mother in law stayed there with her dogs. Uh, my oldest son got his room and my middle and youngest son and my middle son's girlfriend, they all got a the other room and me and my wife and my mom went down to probably the sketchiest hotel I've been in a long time. Uh, I wasn't worried about myself, you know, I come prepared. Um, for my mom, you know, I could take care of all that. Uh, I was a little bit nervous about the boat, you know, with the kayaks and all that. You know, like, that really wouldn't be too too difficult to, to get in the middle of the night. He's got, he's got a rope right here and uh, this, I could literally get this down quietly without anybody noticing probably in about five minutes or less. Anyhow, so we're in Rarica, um, stay the night. Uh, we're uh, stopped by uh, Walmart to pick up uh, some last minute stuff that we didn't want to get that we were afraid might be perishable. Some uh, vegetables and shit. Anyhow, we're probably gonna go stop by, have some McDonald's or breakfast or something. Do the last hour and a half, uh, get there, fill out the paperwork, do the whole walkthrough. Um, I'll probably do a walkthrough on this houseboat uh, and try to give information. I might do a couple different videos. I might do a video just about the houseboat and going over that for people who are looking to go up there that won't be included in this video. And I may just do a walkthrough on this video. I really don't know. I'll play it by ear. So I'm glad you guys uh, came along to join me. Uh, it's probably going to also be a multi-part video because uh, we're, we're going from Saturday today to Friday. It's a long, it's going to be a long trip and be a lot of, a lot of fun things going on. So we got the boat, we got the jet skis, uh, <clears throat> got the kayaks, we got a bunch of floatable water toys, so uh, lots to do. And that's the whole point, lots to do. Games, good time. So uh, we'll probably check back in when we get there. Hey, it's a lot of people! Got the uh, a launch. This thing is a freaking madhouse, the water's so low. Look at that shit. Hey! Howdy, Capo. You're supposed to come back out that way, right? Yeah. But then everybody's blocking people from coming out. No, I think this, I don't know. You see that though? This yeah. Guy in the van. I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna follow what else does. Well, I know, but I'm worried about when I wanna leave. If we're gonna be able to get yeah. out. Yeah. 
This is the California fires we got going here, folks. I don't know exactly where in California, but it's enough that, man, sucks. I got the boat launched. It's down there. You probably can't see it with this lens. Way down there. The jet, one jet ski is gone. I'm not sure if they're having issues getting the other jet ski off or something. Hopefully they can figure it out. Seem really small. Yeah. I don't know. Try to get out. You're in your cubby. You want to take it out? Yeah. Look. It's going to be spacious enough up here. Enough, right? Tight, but not bad. So we can pass it into the next room. It's small. Howdy. Hey, buddy. Oh. There's half a hand under there, but here, yeah, take this in there. I like to do more stuff, you guys. That would be one salt and pepper on the table, down to the pan, one on the, uh... So, Mom, I put them all up there. Great. Here's the upper, uh, controls. Stereo. Water. Hot tub. It's a cold tub. Everybody's still unpacking. Just thought I'd give you a, just walking around, taking a look. It's super fun, super exciting. Very happy about this. I'm ready to get going. Got people docked up over there. Got some people docked up way out there. Don't know where the hell we're going, but we're gonna find our way. Woohoo! Aha! Uh -huh. Way down! I just missed it. Okay, you need to get back up on? Uh, okay, rock, but yeah. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Everybody. All right, Saturday. Saturday evening. Uh, I don't know what time it is. Got finally got there here and, and docked around uh, six uh, six ish, and uh, had a little something to eat. Um, yeah, basically kind of doing whatever. So, see our spot a little bit. It's kind of over. Found a little cove. Get a couple balls, a couple ball, golf balls into the uh, into the lake. Got the jet skis out there. Anyhow, it's nice. It's uh, I think the sun probably just went down, or it's just going down. We're kind of mountainy, so who knows. So, uh, yeah, it's, there's all kinds of these fires going on up here in California, up in Northern California, and uh, unfortunately, it almost looks like it's foggy or or something like that because it's or cloudy, but it's not. It's just all smoke. It's all smoke. It's not bad. It's not like hard to breathe or nothing like that, but uh, it sucks. It ruins the atmosphere, and the sun's up there. Doesn't seem like it's clear out. Seems like it's partially sunny, partially sunny, partially cloudy, whatever. Um, but uh, 
sun's red when it's up there. I don't want to see the moon or stars either, so. Sun is coming up, what? are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow. Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss, cause I'll go where you go. I'll take you to a place, we can see it all. Step off the edge, I can break your fall. Day four. I guess. I mean, if you really want to count Saturday, but. Well, it's day we started. Oh, it's Saturday. So, day four. Um, still smoke in the air. Not nearly as bad as the first couple days. Uh, nice little breeze. Again, I'm sure it's in the 80s right now. I don't know exactly. It's nice though. Did some kayaking today. Did some jet skiing today. Did some, ha some hanging over today. <laughs> drank, uh, drank a couple bottles of whiskey last night, I think. <laughs> It's funny when you're drunk, you just need you need more. You just need more. You just need to get that. Oh man, that was a mistake. Got some boats out there.
sure if this video will turn out as good as uh, I dreamed it would be. Um, I'm just really having too much of a good time to pick up the cameras and record. Um, but so far, uh, all three of my sons have all told me separately in their own times that this is uh, one of the best vacations I've ever had. They all love it. Dude, that's worth it to me. Uh, I think my mom is having a good time. Something, something she'd want to do probably for a long time. Uh, mom number two is in-law. Wife's mom. Uh, she, I think she's enjoying it too. Wasn't sure how she would take to it. Um, she, I don't think she's as much of an outdoor camping person. But uh, I think she's liking it. And her two little sweet dogs seem to love it too. So that's good. And of course, me and the wife love it. So. Obviously, it'd be nicer if the lake was higher. But, man, what are you going to do? The good news is uh, the first two days of smoke sucked today. They, I think it's probably about 80% cleared up, honestly. And you can still see it. You can still smell it. But before, it, was like, it almost felt like you were in a cloud. You know what I mean? It almost felt like you were uh, foggy. Like, it was just kind of it adjusted your mood. It really does. And we had this issue before. We used to camp up at uh, Washington Rife Lake. There's a really cool uh, dispersed spot that might be closed now. But we went there a few years ago, three or four years ago, and it was a great spot. But it was like this. It was so much smoke stuck. So anyhow. guys Tuesday evening dinner's cooking we're having prime rib baked potatoes and I don't know what else I'll be right with the next hour decided to take a little hike from the where we're launched where we're uh, beached at down there up the wall up the mountain here um, almost to the tree line uh, it's just about another 30 feet or so 40 feet from me tell if you can tell I'm there or not I'll take a look it's crazy it is absolutely crazy to look, take a look at this is, you know, I'm at, one, at one point in time, this was the water line. At one point, this was the water line. If you were all standing here, I'd be underneath the water. I'd be swimming. And now, it's, I don't know, 100 feet low or something. But I want to at least get up here and take a little look-see. It would be definitely nice. I wish the water... I mean, for several reasons, I wish the water was higher, but uh, one is because it'd be nicer to open your windows and look outside and see this. It's a lot prettier than all this rock and dirt and gravel and stuff, but... Uh, goes down I don't I don't know details about this lake honestly um, I believe it's a man-made lake I say that because there's a da huge dam just down the way from here I might got I might have got some of it on video when I was wearing my GoPro jet skiing um, so I think it's man-made um, I don't know details of how long ago it was done um, turned into a lake but I know it's the lowest it's ever been right now and things are coming up found this just up from our boat I don't know what it is. I can't tell what it is. And this is like a, kind of looks like plywood, bolt. This is metal. I 
like a handle or something. I, if I dug that out, there's a... <laughs> that's my dollar one now. Uh, oh my god! Nice. <laughs> Laurel seems to get those. The I'll be the money maker. <laughs> oh god! There he goes again. Yeah. Back the in the positives. I would win. I would win if we played. That's why I don't play because I win. Oh my time. god! <laughs> I shake the head. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Jim. All right, I'm just trying to cheat already? Hey, yeah, I, I know. Careful. I know. <laughs> oh no. Do you have anything to the camera? No. Do you have anything to say at all? How about you? How about you? Come back and see you, you little darky. <laughs> oh, cool, bro. Tonight we had nachos. Shoot. I will. Nachos. I seem to give you a lot of money. I don't know why. Cook those on the barbecue. Cook them on the barbecue. <laughs> filming on the GoPro 5 right now in the waterproof case so it probably doesn't sound too great uh, but anyhow just out with uh, the chocolate girl paddling around it's beautiful out right now the smoke has cleared up a little bit it feels like so it's going to be a little sunnier a little warmer um, no breeze at all right now so the lake is you know, going to surf wake surf or something Did get the uh, the uh, house boat unstuck from the mud. It was stuck there for a little bit. Uh, you got this little wiggly action. We turn it both ways. You kind of wiggle. It takes a lot. So, what's the plan for today? I don't know. We'll probably take the boat out and go for a cruise. Maybe get a jet ski and play with those. Kayaking clearly uh, and some swimming. to go.
right, so just kind of hanging out. We got dinner, getting ready. Got some baked potatoes, a couple of prime ribs. Gonna go. I got rotisserie on, but I think we're gonna have to do them on the barbecue because we can't have fire. I think mine's gonna find a cooking spot. Yeah, she's, she's pretty good at staying around here, you know? Come aboard, son. Have an ashy? Good. <sighs> we're gonna go get some pizza. Go and get some what pizza. What are gonna have for dinner? Uh, we're cooking some wings on the barbecue. And going to get pizza. It's our last night here, our last day here. The smoke all came back with a vengeance day. So that nobody really wanted to come outside at all. <clears throat> it's messing with your throat a little bit. We all feel like a bunch of chain smokers. Um, so yeah, just sitting inside, watch TV, relax, and doing nothing pretty much all day. It kind of sucks. But anyhow, we're gonna go get pizza from this pl pizza place that looked pretty good from a, another YouTube video I saw. Some other people. Uh, so I'll show it to you when we get there. Well, kind of a disappointment we got here. Silver Thorn Resort Marina Pizza and Pub. Uh, I guess. They're not down here anymore. The physically it looks like it's down here, but you gotta go and walk and well, you can see way over there. And uh, that uh, forerunner thing has gotta drive you up. Up to the top. And they'll take you up there and they'll you can get your pizza and then drive you back down.